Hi, I'm going to show you how to create private categories for your WooCommerce store. Now, when you create categories for WooCommerce, I, which you do under products categories, normally they're available for everybody to see uh, whether they're logged into your website or not and whatever their user role. Um, now, with the pass WooCommerce password protected categories plugin, which you can even see I've got installed here, that offers you two ways to create hidden categories, which only particular people can see. One of those options is password protected categories, which are covered elsewhere in our knowledge base. And we also have separate videos on those. And what I'm telling you about now is a lesser known option of WooCommerce password protected categories, which is private categories. Now, private categories can only be seen by logged in users depending on their role. It's very similar to the private content that you actually get within WordPress itself. So if you create a page, a post or a product, um, in the, you'll see a visibility setting uh, which you can set to private. And that means that only logged in administrators or editors or store managers in the case of WooCommerce will be able to see that content and nobody else will even know it exists. The WooCommerce password protected categories, private categories option adds to this by allowing you to create the same type of private content, but at a category wide level. I'll show you how to do that now. So you need to have WooCommerce and WooCommerce password protected categories installed. You need to go to the settings page and enter your license key. And once that's active, you can go to products, categories and create a private category. What you need to do is you can call it whatever you want. Let's call it private category. And I'm going to scroll down a bit and you'll see a visibility section here. This is added by the WooCommerce password protected categories plugin. And to create a private category that's only visible to certain user roles, you need to click the private option and we'll click add new category. And you can see it at the top of the list. <clears throat> The next thing to do is to add products to your private category. So we go to products, you can either add new ones or you can categorize existing ones. So I'm just gonna stick a few products in now. Let's put that in private category. So I'm just using the quick edit feature here, but you can add categories by clicking through to the actual edit product screen as well. So again, now a product has to only be in a public category or a private category. You can't put it in both because that will confuse all the visibility settings and it will be marked as private then anyway. So just set it to one of your private categories and that will hide it. Now I'm going to add it to the navigation menu so that you can see how content will be shown and hidden uh, for different users um, depending on whether they're logged in. So I've got my menu and I'm just going to find my, actually it's categories I need to add. So I'm going to go to product categories. Now, if you can't see this link with your product categories to the menu, use screen options to make sure it's ticked. And so I'm gonna go to view all and I'm gonna find my private category, which is there. And I add it to the menu and I'm just gonna put it where I want and click save. You don't have to add it to your menu. I'm just doing that so that I can demonstrate to you. So this is what it looked like before I added the private category. I'm gonna refresh my page and you can see that that has magically appeared there. And that is because I am logged in as an administrator. And if I click on it, I can see those two products. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if I try to go to that the website without being logged in so that you can see that it is indeed private. So I've copied a link to my homepage and now I'm going to go to an incognito window on my browser. I'm gonna paste the link in there. Uh, ignore that, that's because my test site is password protected, but that's not part of what I'm showing you. So let's go to the site and you can see here, there is no private category link and that's because I'm not logged in. Whereas when I go in, as a logged in administrator, I can see the private category and its contents. If you try to go to an actual product page for a private category when you don't have access to it, it will act like it doesn't even exist. See, I've got a 404 error there. Um, so there is no evidence that 
to non-authorised people that that private content exists at all, whether it's the category page itself or the products within it. So they're completely hidden. Finally, I'll just tell you that there's another plugin you can use with WooCommerce password protected categories, um, which is a free plugin called User Role Editor, available on WordPress.org. And you can use that plugin to change which user roles should have access to your private categories. So by default, it would be your administrators, editors, store managers. Um, instead of those roles, you could, for example, you might want to create a wholesale role and automatically give all users with the wholesale role access to your private categories, which you use for your private wholesale area. That's a popular way to use private categories. So use the user role editor plugin to change which roles have access to private content in WordPress, and they will then be able to see your private categories. Thanks for watching.